Hey guys, my name is Scobie. Today I'm going to be showing you how to play Clone Hero on your PC. This is going to be a nice quick and easy tutorial on screen. I know you can see me playing it. Let's jump right into this. So the first thing I'll do is come to this link. Links are always in the description down below. And we're going to be downloading our Clone Hero application. Now, depending on whatever version of Windows you have or Linux, currently not available on Mac. So sorry, any Mac users, you should download whatever best suits you. I already have it downloaded, but all you want to do is click on it, right click, and click download. Now while we're in our browser, I'm also gonna bring you to a source where you can download custom songs. If we come to this link, we'll see a Google Docs spreadsheet with a bunch of songs and download links for everything. We have six fret charts here if you're using Guitar Hero Live Guitar and five fret charts here if you're using the normal Guitar Hero Guitar. You should see a bunch of different songs on here that you can download. I'm also gonna be leaving another link down below to the official Clone Hero Discord. I'd recommend joining this. It should take about 10 minutes before you can join in here and activate your account. And if you come to this, if we come to the announcements page, we should see the most up-to-date version of Clone Hero right here. So it's updated fairly regularly. And if we come to the left, we'll also see a page here for custom songs. Or if you come in here, you'll see a bunch of other custom songs and some download links. This is a great resource for finding extra cool songs. And if you're looking for anything else, I'd recommend joining here. It's really good for asking for requests and some extra help. So if you need anything else, I'd recommend coming here for that. But once you've your downloads done, you should move them to a location where you can find them easily. So currently I have my Clone Hero download right here. And I just read a new folder right here to extract all my contents. In this case, I'm gonna be starting from scratch and deleting all my contents out. All you wanna do is double click to open up your Clone Hero download that we just downloaded. You will need WinRAR 7 zip in this case. I'll leave links to both of those in the description also. Click Control and A to select all the files here and then simply drag and drop them over and you will extract all your files over to this location. While we have this open, I'm also gonna be showing you how to install custom songs. So you should have this folder here named songs that you should double click into. And when you first download this, there should be no custom songs in here, just a transition folder right here. So all you wanna do is find whatever song you wanna download like I showed you previously where to download them. Grab your song. They'll most likely come in a .rar format, so you will need Renair 7 zip for this also. Grab your song and just drag it over into your songs folder. You can drag over whatever songs you want. In this case, I'm gonna be bringing over both the songs I have downloaded, Fallout by and System of a Down, just to have some songs for the setup. I'm gonna be backing out of this, and now we're ready to open up Clone Hero for the first time. So now I have Clone Hero right here. We're gonna be double click to opening it up and Clone Hero should open up. Now, if it's your first time, you may get a pop-up saying which kind of settings you wanna use. That's no problem to set that up. But once this is done, we're gonna be brought to Clone Hero. Now in this case, I'm gonna be muting all of my background noise because there might be some copyrighted music here and I don't wanna get flagged on YouTube. So all of my background music is gonna be completely removed. Once we're here, we're ready to set up our guitar. So at this point, you should have your guitar plugged in. So all you wanna do is click the space bar to open up the controls option and you should see your controller right here and then on the right hand side we should see our controller buttons to map everything as you can see mine is already mapped and we can see all of the actions on the left so really simply to map any button all you want to do is click on it in this case i'm going to be clicking replace wait for this five second countdown to go away then click the button you want to activate and then your button will be added to the list all you want to do is do this for each of the buttons that are here and get your controller fully set up from here, we're gonna be coming to the done option on the top left. And now we're gonna be clicking the start button that we just mapped to activate one of your controllers. Now you should notice on the bottom left that my profile just showed up. In this case, you can choose guest or create profile. In this case, I'd recommend creating a profile. And now we can change the settings of this profile by clicking the start button on our controller one more time. If we click into the controller option, we'll be able to choose which type of controller we have, if it's a six or five fret. In this case, I'm gonna be using a six fret. You can set up your note speed, lefty mode, tilt, gamepad, and a bunch of other settings in here that I'd recommend coming in to check out and then finally we can click the back button to go away from this now by using our controller and the fret we should be able to go through our settings now between the settings quick play and quit if we go to quick play we should be able to select any of the songs we currently have installed now if you added songs to your songs folder and you're noticing they're not showing up here there's a really simple fix all you want to do is back out of this go to your settings option and then click scan songs and it will scan your songs folder and update to any songs that are in your songs folder now that we have that done we're going to be able to play any of the songs we have here and then we're going to be opening up this one just following through to the settings just till it loads up and then everything should work just fine you should see all your controllers should work i'm not going to be playing it right now because it's going to be really loud on the mic but it's that easy to set up and play custom songs on clone hero I'm also gonna leave links down below to all the resources you'll need to get this up and running. I think I showed you everything in this video you'll need to be able to get up and running and playing this. If you're having any trouble with your guitar, I'd maybe recommend checking out Xpatter to see if that helps with your issues. I can get to that in a later video if a lot of people are having trouble with it. Anyway guys, this is how you set up and play Clone Hero games on your PC. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you're new, check out the other videos on the channel. I'm gonna leave a link down below to my PayPal if you found this video helpful and you wanna support me. Of course, there's no pressure if you can't. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Until next time, as always, keep it saucy. Peace.